Hey everyone, Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to take AppRoll20.net and create a character with a, an associated token that a player character or one of your uh, players can actually use and control within App.Roll20. Of course, if you already don't know, this is a tool you can use for online RPGs uh, for both playing online or you can use it as an assistant with a physical pen and paper game. So if we want to create a character, the first thing we've got to do is go over to this uh, Characters tab. Uh, which is actually called the journal, by the way. And uh, hit the add button. You're going to want to hit character. And from here, you can type in the name of the character. For instance, uh, Manel is one of the characters in our game. And uh, you can set which player journals you want it to appear in. Typically, all players, just so that all of your um, all of your PCs, all of your players who aren't the DM can actually see each other's character sheets and uh, work with each other rather than against each other. And uh, can be edited and controlled by. This is the uh, really important thing you want to set if you want them to be able to edit their own character sheet. So for instance, um, we will set it to uh, b -b 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 uh, Andrew. And um, hit save here. But first, uh, you notice it says default token. So the token is what they actually control on the map when they want to move around uh, physically within the map, effectively the game world. And uh, we actually have to put a token on the map for that to be able to work. But uh, let's just save the character sheet for right now. And now we can go over to the Art Library tab, which is uh, second from the left. And uh, Cat Folk, let's look for that because that's roughly what we're looking for. Okay, uh, this should be decent for right now. So we'll drag, we'll drag this artwork, and you can basically use any artwork. Uh, of course, ones that are PNGs, um, so that they don't have that white background, are typically a little bit better. Okay, uh, what's with the sexy cat there? Whatevs. Is any of this PNG? Okay, moving on. Whatever, let's just go with the original one. Okay, so we have this token here. Uh, we know it's a token because we dragged and dropped it into the Objects and Tokens layer, uh, which you can change layers here, uh, the little cube shape. But it's not a token that players can control. It's uh, effectively a token in the same way as this little uh, rose bush or these flowers are. They're things that I can mess around with. I can move this, this uh, flower patch, but they can't. So what we got to do is click on the token and hit this little settings gear. Here you're going to see represents character, name, and controlled by. Now uh, you can set controlled by and then just choose the player right there the same way you did in the character sheet. But another way you can do it is actually to click here on represents character, uh, go choose the character, and it'll actually automatically make it so that this token can be controlled by the same people who can control that character because they're linked together now. Uh, and you may want to show nameplate on the token as well, just so people know which token is who. Uh, you save changes on that. And the last thing we got to do, right now at this point, the player would be able to control this. But the thing is, um, it wouldn't be so easy to replicate this token. You'd have to make it every time you switch maps. So what we're actually going to do is reopen up the character sheet, go to edit. And now that we have this token selected, we're going to hit use selected token as the default token. Okay, save that, and now every time on any map we want to use this character again, we just drag it there, drag it there. Of course, we're not going to have four clones, but um, you can put it on any map you want, and uh, they should be able to edit it, to move it, and um, yeah, pretty much everything else they would need to. So uh, there you go, um, making a token slash character that people can control inside of app.roll20. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Aside from that, I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the Patreon, patreon.com slash chris tutorials, and I will see you all next time.